Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful day so far. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually posted a video titled, are there any good plus size clothing brands left or something to that effect. If you haven't yet seen that video and would like to, I will leave a link to it right up here somewhere. I never know what side is going to be on. <laughs> but in that video, I mentioned that I believed Universal Standard to be like a top shelf clothing company, especially their denim. However, <laughs> that all being said, I do not believe that all their denim is created equally and it's a little bit on the pricey side. I mean, like, who am I kidding? It's extremely pricey. <laughs> Ooh. So I thought it would be helpful to some of y'all if I purchased a couple of different pairs of jeans and showed y'all the differences in the jeans, the jean prices, the jean quality. And that way, if you plan on buying them in the future, you can kind of reference this video and be able to make an informed decision whenever you're buying because there's nothing better than an informed consumer. So if that sounds good to you and you enjoy not only fashion, but fashion that is budget friendly and of good quality, <laughs> then please consider liking and subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I'm gonna include all the links to everything mentioned down in the description box below. So the first pair of jeans from Universal Standard that I'm gonna be sharing with y'all are gonna be the Carry, and these are gonna be retail $128. So these are gonna be the most expensive jeans of this whole video. Also, I just wanna let y'all know that if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I've taken a crap ton of notes. So I didn't forget anything because this is the type of video that I really wanna give y'all like concise information. So anyway. <laughs> this is what the jeans look like. I picked these up in black or they were sent to me in black. I did not buy these with my own money. They were sent in PR several years ago. And I just got to tell you, these are my most worn jeans in my whole entire closet. I love these jeans so much. They are extremely good quality, but these are the wide leg style. And I don't think if I'm not mistaken, I don't think the Universal Standard has any other wide leg jeans that are quite like this, but these come in three different colors. Obviously I have the black in them and they have an amazing stretch. They like conform to the body so, so well, but they're also like a thick denim. They're a firm denim and they feel really good on the body and they do not chafe you <laughs> at all. So if you have a problem with jeans chafing like your inner thigh and all of that, these are not going to do that because the inside is extremely soft. And then when you turn these around, they have some interesting details. So they have like two different seams in the back to kind of cinch in the waist and give your butt a really, really nice shape. But when it comes to paying attention to detail, Universal Standard definitely did that with these. So the button right there in the front is gonna be a really good quality, very solid, like stainless steel, real button. It also has an extra button on the inside, very similarly to a trouser. Overall, I'm just gonna say that the Carrie style jean is by far my favorite of the bunch. They're very stylish. They look really nice on. They're high waisted so they hide a lot of like insecure areas that I have and they just feel really good on the skin. Like I said, pricey. <laughs> $128 like is is a lot of money but if you're looking for a good quality jean that's going to last you a really long time, the carry style is, is gonna do it for you. So the next jean that I picked up from the Universal Standard website are gonna be the Riviere jean, and these are gonna be the high rise skinny jean. They're retails for $118, however, I was able to find these on clearance on the website for $30, and I snagged them suckers up so freaking quick. So this is what the Riviere jeans look like. And I picked these up in a size 18. And I gotta tell you, I was really impressed with the quality of these. They just feel really luxurious. The denim is very thick. It just feels really soft and nice. And I also picked these up in the classic blue shade. So if they make me look orange, just disregard that for a couple of minutes because I have a very old camera and it just decides to do its own thing. You know how it is. And I picked these jeans up in the 31 inch inseam and I gotta tell you, they could not fit better. But as I mentioned before, I am a tall girl. I'm five foot 10. So these just worked out perfectly. Not to mention that I was just gonna make them work anyway because these were the only ones on the clearance price. These also have really nice deep pockets in the front and functional pockets in the back. So if you put stuff in there, you don't have to worry about it like a weaseling its way out. They're great quality jeans and they make your butt look good, which is everything I come to know and expect about Universal Standard jeans. So the next style jeans that we're going to be talking about today are going to be in the style Donna. And these were sent to me in PR probably about two or so years ago. And let me tell you, I have worn 
the literal crap out of these jeans. Like I can definitely tell you the pros and cons of them and can vouch for their quality. So this is what the jeans look like. As I mentioned before, these are in the Donna jeans and I picked these up or I chose these in like this charcoal gray color. And I am really happy with these jeans. They have always felt really, really soft and really substantial. Like they're a heavier style jean. They just have a weight to them. So these jeans retail for $118 and they are advertised as high rise curve straight jeans. And I gotta tell you, they have amazing stretch. So I picked these out in a size 20. I think I was a little bit bigger at the time. And I do wish that I would have sized down because they are a little bit more on the baggier side for my liking. But when I tell you how comfortable they are, these are like the best feeling jeans that I have in my whole entire closet. But whenever you turn these jeans around, this is what the back of the jeans look like. And these, apart from the other ones that I showed you, have this little darting right here above the back pockets that really kind of cinch in the backside. It kind of tapers in that waistline. So if you're looking for a really nice, good quality casual jean that you can kind of slouch around and wear with your favorite t-shirts or wear with your favorite like casual blouses, this is going to be the jean for you and you will not regret it. So now we're on to the second to last pair of jeans that I picked up from Universal Standard. And I gotta tell you, these are the most underwhelming jeans that I picked up that I paid for, and I am very disappointed. And this is exactly the reason why I wanted to do this video, because it just goes to show you that all jeans from one brand are not created equal. Like there are big discrepancies in them. And there's really and truly only a $30 difference between the first jeans that I showed you, which were $128 and phenomenal quality. And these are $98 and they're very poor quality. I'm, I'm not gonna say like they're super poor quality because they're really not, but I would say these are just a step above Shein quality. And that is the Cien style jeans. So this is what they look like. And as you can see, this is a really, really pretty color. I picked these up in the color True Blue. And these are the 27 inch inseam. And I paid $98 for these, like $98. And they definitely don't feel like $98. The fabric is quite thin. Like these are something you would expect from not even Walmart. Like I've purchased better quality jeans from Walmart before. These feel, I like Shein. Shein is the best one I could give you. These are also marketed as being high-waisted and I wouldn't say they are nearly as high-waisted as the other ones that I've showed you. For example, the Cary, the Donna, the Riviere, those are all really nicely high-waisted. They go right above the belly button and these hit right at or a little bit below the belly button. So I wouldn't necessarily call these high-rise. For me, I would call these more of a high mid-rise. But you know, with all that being said, I just gotta say that these, the CN jeans or Sienna jeans, however you wanna say it, these are bar none the lowest quality jeans of today's video. And as far as me recommending these style jeans for you to buy for $98, I'm gonna say, uh-uh, no way in hell, hard pass. If they were $25, I would say maybe, but that's a stretch. All right, y'all, so now we're on to the final pair of jeans of the entire day from the brand Universal Standard. And these are going to be the Bay Jeans, B-A-E, which are the boyfriend crop jeans in the color light blue. And these retail for $112. And I picked these up in a size 18. And I will say that of all the jeans that I've showed you today, these are gonna be the most soft, the most casual, and like your most used clunk around t-shirt wearing tennis shoe wearing jean of the whole entire day <laughs> although i will say that these don't feel nearly as high quality as like the carry jeans that retail for 128 or even the donna jeans that retail for 118 i would probably compare these more to the riviere that retail for 118 which i got for 30 dollars let's not forget that but the quality of the denim it's it's like thick but it's not nearly as thick as the other three that I mentioned. So there is some discrepancies there with the denim. It just doesn't feel as tightly woven. It doesn't feel as densely packed denim. It just doesn't feel like it's gonna last as long. And also another little difference that I wanted to mention about these jeans in comparison to the Carrie and the Donna and the Riviere is whenever you turn these around, they don't have 
the detail, like the attention to detail as the other ones do. They don't have the seaming. They don't have the, you know, the sloping, the tapering of the waistline. It is not going to be as figure flattering as the other jeans that I've showed you in today's video. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, y'all. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm going to be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.